How to Julienne. The slender cousin of the baton and matchstick cuts, the Julienne cut takes its name from the extremely skinny chef who pioneered this technique. Okay, we made that up. Sorry. You will need a chef's knife, a cutting board, and a vegetable to cut. Step 1. Wash and peel the vegetable if necessary. Step 2. Grasp the knife in your dominant hand, holding the handle close to the blade with three fingers, your middle, ring, and pinky. Curl your forefinger around one side of the blade while holding your thumb on the opposite side. Step 3. With your non-knife-wielding hand, hold the vegetable firmly on the cutting board close to the area you will cut. Curl your fingers so that the tips are firmly planted on the vegetable and the knuckles point outward. In the food world, this is called the claw grip. Step 4. Cut off the ends of the vegetable. Step 5. Determine the length of your julienne your recipe calls for, 2 inches or smaller is the standard, and cut the vegetable crosswise into sections of that length. Step 6. Cut off the sides of one section. It should now resemble a block with four long flat surfaces. This will make it easier to cut uniform pieces. Keep the point of the knife on the board and use a steady rocking motion to slice, not saw, the vegetable with the full length of the blade. Step 7. Cut the sections lengthwise into uniform slabs a sixteenth of an inch thick. Try to hold the sections together evenly. It makes for a nicer cut. Step 8. Stack the slabs on top of each other and, again holding them evenly, cut them lengthwise into sticks that are a sixteenth of an inch wide. Did you know? Julienne is a popular French girl's name, meaning youthful. And that's true.